Hello everyone, welcome to the video, and today we're going to be going over a couple of the best team comps that you can run in Apex Legends, and specifically ranked, but this also will work in public matches. So I do want to say before we get into the video that about 92% of you guys are not already subbed, so if you're not subbed, just drop one, it helps me out a ton. So let's get right into the video, we're going to talk about a couple different types of team comps, so uh, what I mean by this is we're going to talk about an aggressive team comp, a defensive team comp, and uh, two hybrids. So there's going to be four different team comps I explain in this video, but the first one we're going to talk about is the most aggressive one, and the one I like to run the most, and this is Wraith, Pathfinder, and Bangalore. So this team composition is actually very effective because... Uh, in case you are unaware, each of these legends has their own method of getting away and rotating. Uh, Bangalore has her smokes, Pathfinder grapple, and Wraith has her portal and face. So these all go into making each of these legends very, very good for working solo. And it really gives you the ability as a team to just run over any team that's playing pretty defensively. Uh, or if you meet them anywhere by chance, you'll have a really, really good edge if you just run up on them very quickly because, you know... If one of your teammates gets low or something, they always have a method of getting out. You know, Bangalore is probably the one teammate that doesn't really have as much of a luxury because Pathfinder can grapple out immediately. Uh, Bangalore can get a little bit stuck, so it can be a little bit difficult for Bangalore. But for the most part, uh, each legend has amazing rotation, so their ability to push in on people and just dismantle them and peel from the fight, heal up, and then come back, it makes this team comp work very, very well together. So I'd say, in my opinion, this is definitely a top team comp and probably the best aggressive team comp you can have, especially in rank, just because of, like I said before, the endless rotation and ability to get away from fights if it is not going well. Uh, so I think that this is definitely my favorite team comp and overall a very, very solid option. So next up, I want to talk about the defensive team comp, and this is probably going to be Wraith, Watts, and Gibraltar. Uh, this team comp is very very defensive and overall the the utility that you get from Gibraltar's bubble where you can throw it down at any point and the ability to lock down any building with Watson makes this team comp incredible. Uh, the only reason they have Wraith is because without Wraith they would have no method of rotation. Uh, Gibraltar's bubble would almost be their only method of being able to get around the map and that is such a small uh, bubble in terms of actually rotating so chances are you just get beamed so you definitely need Wraith for this team composition. And that's pretty much a steady factor, as you'll see all throughout this video. Each team comp features Wraith just because of her rotation ability and the ability to get an entire team from point A to point B. So she's an absolutely essential legend and will be featured in every single one of these team comps because I think Wraith is hands down the best legend in the game. And when you pair her with Gibraltar's defensive abilities uh, and the ability to just get reses on demand, throw his airstrike right down, uh, bubble up and save his teammates every time is incredible so Gibraltar works very very well in a defensive setting as well as Watson with her shield gen and passive regeneration so you can pretty much hold down buildings and areas very very well with this team comp and it works perfectly this is definitely one of the best team comps you can run and overall if you're looking for more of a slow and defensive play style this is going to be your best bet so the next team comp I want to talk about is one of the hybrid team comps and I call them hybrid just because they have a little bit of defense and a little bit of attack. So uh, one of these is Wraith, Pathfinder, and Gibraltar. So this team comp is especially effective because with Gibraltar, you're able to extend fights very well and, um, you know, just offer up that little bit of coverage with the dome as well as his airstrike giving a little bit of defensive play and safety just in case you guys need to back up from the fight if you're losing it uh, but the pathfinder gives your team a lot of versatility as well because he can grapple in and do a lot of damage offensively so that kind of makes this team comp have the best of both worlds uh, this is a solid pick tons of people are using this in rank just because of you know the utility you get out of both pathfinder and gibraltar so honestly this team comp is an obvious choice just because if, if you like being aggressive, but a lot of times it gets you killed, you may need to uh, add in a Gibraltar to it just because he gives you a little bit extra safety and uh, just the ability to kind of recuperate and recover from a bad fight. And I think that's why I had to make this a hybrid one because it's both offensive and defensive and that's why it had to be kind of hybrid. So I think that this is definitely a top team comp, especially for someone who's not really entirely sure about what team comp suits their play style. So if you're really kind of between defensive and uh, fully aggressive, 
just go with the hybrids. Uh, these are obviously amazing choices, and if you can't choose whether you're a more defensive play style or aggressive play style and you really don't want to find out, you can just go with the hybrid choices because they're the best of both worlds and will suit you very well. So the next hybrid team comp I want to talk about is Wraith. Pathfinder and Watson. So this is basically just swapping out the Gibraltar for the Watson and the only reason you do this is if you're looking more towards camping end game. So if you want to be aggressive early game and then camp out a little bit late game and hold down a building or area, this is definitely the team comp you want to go with just because of the option that Watson brings to the table where you can lock down a building and teams almost can't push in. Uh, it can be very dangerous to push a Watson especially when she's locking down a building and there's an entire team inside of that house. So I think that this team comp brings a lot of versatility to the table because you get that ability to push uh, early game and then you get that safety late game that you see a lot in Watson's. And I think that overall, this is one of the best team comps you can run with as well. Just because of, like I said, that versatility is almost undefeated, except for the other hybrid team comp. That one also works very well. Um, and I think overall, these are two of the best team comps you can go with because they are safe and you can push with them pretty effectively. You don't have to pick one or the other. And as I said before, you need a Wraith, obviously, in every team comp because she gives the ability to rotate past choke points and just rotate her entire team pretty effortlessly. So Wraith is obviously an insta pick for every single team comp just because of the ability to rotate her entire team. That's why she's making the list on all of these team comps. Uh, and then Pathfinder, obviously, his ability to grapple in gives you that aggressive aspect to your team. So another honorable mention I just want to throw in here is probably Wraith, Pathfinder, and caustic so this is probably another hybrid team composition but it is very effective because i feel like caustic if you have him in the late game uh, his ability to lock down areas and buildings is literally unrivaled he's much better than watson at this the only time you basically get taken out of the building if you're a caustic is when they spam you with grenades but after the grenade nerf uh, i think it's seen a lot less now so caustic is on the rise i believe caustic is an auto win in the end of the game Especially when Caustic is able to save his ultimate uh, or carry around a couple of ultimate accelerants. Just because when he ults in the last circle, you guarantee the win. Uh, like, it's very rare where Caustic has ulted me in the last circle or I've been on a team with Caustic and he has ulted and we've lost. You know, I, I've been ulted by a Caustic and there's realistically nothing you can do. You either die to zone or you die to his gas and he could see through it like a hawk. So you just kind of die. And I think that's why he's such an effective legend, especially late game. And when you mix him with Wraith and Pathfinder uh, and kind of the aggressive early game with the safe late game, much like the Watson team comp, uh, you see a lot of success with it. So one thing I, I will say is that Watson can kind of be substituted out for Caustic a little bit in some of these lists, depending on how you want to play. Uh, Caustic definitely works a lot in higher level play as well So don't think that just in um, lower level play You'll see work with Caustic being done because he's very effective at all elos So just in case you're not sure about Caustic try him out I guarantee he will surprise you his effectiveness late game brings so much value to the team and just makes it almost an automatic win if you play right uh, the ultimate in the late game just literally takes over and is so effective so I think if you guys are still sleeping on Caustic, just try him out. He's insane and very, very frustrating to fight against. So any team comp, like I said, that I featured Watson in, you can substitute for Caustic if you prefer. I feel like those two legends kind of can be replaceable and good substitutes for each other. It's kind of just whichever one you prefer. So I think that's pretty much it for today's video. So if you guys have a certain team comp that I did not go over, just comment it below and tell me what your favorite team comp is to run in ranked. But that's pretty much it for today's video. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. <laughs> His boy's cool, still cool, in there, bro. Cool, dude, Where's this dude he has no way to get out, though. He literally has no way to get out. He yeah. doesn't have a wraith. So he's fucked. Yeah, he's bro, getting down there, here, bro. So... Yeah. We gotta win these gunfights, bro. This I, I don't know how many there is down there, though. How many is there? There's, oh, they, I think there's placed, three. They placed the ult. You can just ult and we win the game, I think. Yeah, what's your ult at? I think you used it. Yeah, it's at, it's at, I'll have it before. It's at 50. Are you sure? I'm I hoping so. I yeah, hope it's so. I, I hope so, too, dog. That'll be big. Look at these guys fucking just going. They're running back and forth, yeah. I might drop down, try to laser one. Just hop back up. Do we have an angle? Do we have angles on these kids? We have angles on them. 
We have angles on these kids, bro. Yo, watch out. Let me spray in there with a Devo. Are you hitting Whoa, any? Red shield down, red shield down. I got, I got banged down. Back up beast, back up beast. Right here in the corner, in the corner. Dead, 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 dead. Oh, Bro, buddy, you, you are at Let's the wrong go. one. Yeah. Yo, right there, right there was the game when I downed the Bangler. Yeah, good right shit, there. dude. That was a great pick. <laughs> oh my god. Let's fucking go, dude. That was a really that good game.